Hi everyone, Ken Robinson here from Ashford and TV. We're talking to rugby legend Buck Shelford, who's here for the ATS in-store day. Buck, great to have you in Ashburton. Great to be back in Ashburton. Haven't been here since last year, since the MasterCard Roadshow. And it's always nice to come to the small uh, towns in New Zealand. How do you feel about the current All Blacks at the moment? Current All Blacks? Well, we haven't seen the best of them, I don't think, at, at this stage. Um, I think that uh, we've seen three games, some good games, but not great games. They've changed a few of their... Um, the players around from test to test and I think that uh, they're going to have to start working harder to keep the same combinations together for the next two or three tests especially. Um, but uh, it's, it's early early times yet and we'll see what, uh, what they're like after this Saturday. You know, the big, big game against South Africa. The Tri-Nations is our baby really, isn't it? You know, this is what we have to win. Uh, this is what we need to win to give us confidence going through to the end of year tour. Um, but the end of year tour are standalone test matches. Whereas this is the tournament that we should be winning, and we never won it last year, so it's a big, big uh, season for us. What do you think is going through the minds of the coaches and the players when they face one of the toughest teams in the world at the moment? Uh, well, they're always probably figure, trying to figure out ways of getting around the, um, the sheer size of the South Africans, the way they play the game, their kicking game, their strength game, their fast game, because they're they're bigger than what we are. Um, I wouldn't say they're any faster but they're just their brute strength around the field you know they're, they're, they're big locks and their big number eight and their big flankers you know they're huge men and we've just got to be able to combat them around the field defend them really well and then we've got to be able to use the ball really well at the same time but watching the last game that we played just recently I think I was quite impressed with Dan Carter's getting back to form I don't think Dan Carter's actually had form the form that he showed a couple of weeks ago for a couple of years and uh, he looks to be getting back to some of his old, own, old form and if he, we, we do find that form that's going to get better and better we'll have a great year I reckon. Leading up to the World Cup next year, huge expectation having New Zealand hosting the World Cup, do you think that's going to affect the players at all? Oh, I don't think so, I think that um, you know we hosted it once before and we won it and hopefully our boys can actually reciprocate that uh, what we done back in 1987, I think that um, it's going to be tough, obviously, but every every game is tough, every tournament is tough, and uh, we've just got to be able to take every game as it comes, and go out there and do the business for that particular game, and then worry about what happens next. Next, um, you know, we sometimes we worry about the finish line before we even got there. There's a few hurdles on the way, and. Let's worry about the first hurdle, then the second one, then the third one, and just play every game as if it's going to be the last game in the tournament, but it's the game we have to win to get through to the next round. And uh, just enjoy it, you know, just enjoy the, enjoy the ride, enjoy the tournament, but uh, play the best rugby every time we go out there and play it. Mm. Some of our uh, younger viewers will be watching this broadcast. Any tips for the young rugby players that want to get better? Well, if you want to get better, it's all about your skills. Um, it's about getting strong, it's about getting fast. Um, for me, the skills of the game, positional skills that you, you require, you know, catching and passing is, is everyone's got to have that. You've got to be able to defend, you've got to, you know, you've got to be able to tackle well. Uh, you've got to be able to do all the, all the little wee things. You look after the little things, the game looks after itself. And I think that one of the, one of the big things within rugby now is that we worry about the end result first instead of looking after the process of getting there. And the process of getting to the top to become a professional is hard. You've got to be, you know, you've got to pay particular attention to detail for your fitness, your strength, your diet, your, your nutrition, um, and most of all the skills of the game. And, and, and probably the biggest thing for our youngsters is, is getting the knowledge of the game inside the head because the knowledge of the game gives you the ability to play different types of plans, you know, and you can, you actually, um, with, with good knowledge of the way a game is played, you can actually play a better brand of rugby. Whereas the limited knowledge you have, you can play only a certain type of rugby, you see. Mm -hmm. And um, knowledge is a big thing, and that comes with experience, but it comes with good coaching as well, having coaches uh, with the knowledge, pass that knowledge on to you. Mm. But does it cease to amaze you that you still have such a huge following? 
you know, I mean, these signs, bring back Buck, um, you're on the telly, people just, people love you, Buck. Does that surprise you? Oh, well, yes, really. <laughs> My wife keeps wondering why I'm still uh, out there, but, um, oh, no, I suppose it's, if anything else, it's just, um, uh, you know, what happened many years ago, you know, the, the big dropping in 1990. Uh, I think a lot of people were a bit brassed off that that happened and so I've, I've got a lot of avid supporters around New Zealand and uh, that support is still there today. Buck, uh, so tell me what you're involved with uh, here with John Bull. Well John Bull is a company I've been working with for the last, uh, this is my third year with the company and it's about promoting the brand of John Bull around New Zealand. It's very much a working man's boot and woman's boot as well and uh, yeah it's a company that have supported me over the last uh, three years and I go around and, and help them out and help promote their, their product. It's a fantastic you know, item on. I'm going to upgrade my boots <laughs> to, an, to the next model. But uh, no, it's good to be down here and John Bull's got me around the place over the last couple of years and I go around to a few things like this and uh, Mystery Creek and, and uh, you know, a few places up in Auckland, go around a few stores and it's, it's brilliant. It's just uh, it's part and parcel of, of working with them and uh, John Bull, great product. You heard it right here on Ashburton TV. John Bull, great product. If you don't buy it, Something's tried, wrong. Well, they say it's tried, tested, and proven. Tried, tested, and proven, John Bull.